So, guys, um, so it's currently four o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't moved from my bed because I am going through a depressive episode. I don't know, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of like changes happening in my life right now that are very overwhelming and hard to deal with. And I'm trying, but it's really a lot. And I'm feeling super overwhelmed right now. And all I wanna do is lay in this bed and never talk to anyone again. I don't wanna socialize with anyone. I don't wanna see anybody, um, but I do wanna talk about it, which is why I turned my camera on because I can talk to you guys without, whoa, I can talk to you guys without actually having to socialize, which is kind of the awesome part of YouTube. <sighs> So I moved, life update. If you follow me on any other social media, you know that me and my boyfriend broke up. We were together publicly for a re around a year and a half, a, a little over a year and a half. And we just recently parted ways. It was a really good breakup. It was very mutual. Um, we're still friends, we still talk, but it's still a lot. It's like a huge change. And even though I'm doing okay, you know, because I, I know that it's, it's what we both needed in the moment and we'll be happy in the long run. It's still a lot of like change and it's scary. Um, we also live together. So that's another thing that's changing in my life. You know, I moved out. I got my own place, which is where I'm at right now. I'm currently still in the process of like fur furnishing it. Furnishing it, I think that's how you say it. Whoa. Um. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what this video is. I don't know why I'm filming. I just really needed to talk to somebody, but I don't want to talk to anybody. So I turned my camera on. I don't know. I'm just at an uncomfortable place in my life because a lot of things are changing. It's definitely, it's definitely overwhelming. I'm just kind of overwhelmed and I kind of just want to run away and never talk to anybody again. But that's not what we're going to do. We're going to get our shit together. I'm going to get my shit together. <laughs> And I'm always showing you guys all the good stuff about my life. So I figured I might as well show you the bad parts. Do you want to play? Is that what you want from me? Whoa! So, you know what? I just decided what this video is going to be. Um, this video is going to be me forcing myself out of a depressive episode and doing things to make myself feel better. But we're going to start that tomorrow because today I'm going to allow myself to lay in bed all day and watch YouTube. Tomorrow I'm going, I have a gym session tomorrow at 12 and the gym makes me happy. So that's a good start. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for being my therapist. I love you. with you guys i don't want to um <laughs> i literally want to lay in bed and cry but i'm not gonna do that because i know that if i actually lay in bed all day today that i will not be getting out of there for weeks so i'm not gonna do that we're gonna we're gonna go to the gym and then we're gonna come out come back maybe we can go um like to the pool because whenever i'm in the sun i feel really good i want to also make it very clear that this isn't just because i um i'm going through a breakup i have mental illnesses you know and they come and go and right now they're totally coming I'm definitely going through it, but I'm going to force myself out of it today, guys, because I can do this and I'm fine. I'm not fine, actually. I'm not gonna convince myself I'm fine because I'm not, but I am capable of getting out of this. This is the first video I'm gonna post that's like real, like really real. Like this is down to the nitty gritty. Like this is real as fuck. If, you, if this is too real for you guys, let me know and I won't do this again. Let me know. I got all of this PR earlier, so I'm gonna wear one of these sets to the gym today. I think that one, that one looks cool. Let's try it. Okay, so this is how the outfit looks. Um, it's really cute. I really like it. Super flattering, super soft. Um, 10 out of 10. Okay, let's go to the gym. Woke up at 11 o'clock. I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? This feel like some mile. I don't give a fuck. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. I ain't hearing what you gotta say. What the deal? How you feel? Not important. All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches. But don't be coming at me with that horse shit. And like you know me, that's the worst shit I know in my soul I'm trying not to puke So 
it just worked out. Um, like I said, I knew that was gonna make me feel better because whenever I'm at the gym, I just like, it's something to take my mind off of whatever is happening in my life because you guys, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all, honestly, Fuck it, we're being honest in this episode. Why do I keep saying episode? Like, is this my TV show? Sure, it's my TV show. Guys, welcome to the Sabrina show, apparently. I'm not gonna, like, I'm being so brutally honest to you guys right now. I go through a lot of shit, like, too much. Like, every day it's something new with me, and every day it's something, like, more traumatic than the day before. Um, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm looking for a therapist. Don't know why I don't go to one yet, you know? I just, it's kind of hard for me to find the right one. I'm really bad at opening up to people. Like, I'm really, really bad at it because every time I do, it gets thrown in my face. And I have a really hard time trusting people. Like, a really hard time trusting people. So I don't talk to anybody about my problems. Instead, I'll just, you know, dump them onto you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Is like seriously this is a lot i'm considering running away <laughs> i'm kidding i'm not gonna run away but i do think that i might go home because i need a hug from my mother i'll see you guys home i'll see you guys at home i'm going crazy um love you <laughs> I'm ready to go to the pool. I put a bunch of bio oil on my face, which is why I look so oily. Just cause I've been trying to fix my acne scars. So I have a really amazing friend. Her name is Christina Kitsos. And like, she is amazing at skin. She's a skin expert. And I recently got an IUD put in and it just like, it ruined everything. My hormones went crazy. My acne came out. I've never had acne before. I get really bad hormonal acne now. Like this is what my skin looks like. This is the best my skin has looked in a couple of months. I texted her and I was like, please help me. Like, I don't know what to do anymore. I, I do everything. I went to a dermatologist. I take the medicine I was prescribed. I do everything, but there's just not much I can actually do since it's like within me and hormonal. So I'm going to ask her to help me out with my acne scars. I'm feeling a lot better. I feel like self-care always makes me feel a lot better so just like taking care of myself you know making that appointment for my skin was good it's like the little things guys I really want to get my nose pierced again. If you follow me on TikTok or anything, you know that a while ago I had my nose pierced and I loved it. And I kind of want to do it again, but at the same time, do I really want to do it again? Let's go tan. It's kind of windy and cold, but I'm not mad about it. It's also like the UV index is nine, so I'm still gonna get a tan. I'm gonna read my book. I've been reading the book um, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover and really good. Everything she writes is so amazing. It just like gives me all of my romance that I need. You know, all I need is in this book. I don't need it from an actual person. Well, this book is crazy. I'm going to listen to music and journal now. I don't know why I haven't journaled. That always makes me feel better. It's like I'm losing my mind. a girl gotta do to catch a break up when life tries to test me i take i made myself eggs but the yolks popped in the pan it was really depressing but they're still good i've been having a really hard time eating so i'm trying to cook instead of order food because when i cook food i feel more obligated and i want to eat it more this is really good avocado toast is like one of my favorite foods so it's 118 I have an appointment for my skin at three. What should I watch? I'm gonna watch the new Sternolio triplets video because those always cheer me up. I tend to dress like it's winter when it's actually 80 degrees outside, but I don't care because it makes me feel good. So I'm gonna continue to do it. I'm obviously not gonna put any makeup on because I'm about to go get my skin looked at. I'm feeling better. I talked to my sister, which was good because she always makes me feel better. She just always knows what to say. I'm trying to make better habits. So I got this water bottle and I'm gonna fill it up and take it everywhere with me. I washed it, but it kind of smells like I don't smoke weed though, so I don't know why. Like I actually don't. Like, like I'm not just saying that because I'm like, oh, you know, I'm online. I genuinely don't. A little confused as to why it smells like that, but you know. Okay, sure. Why does it smell like weed? If it tastes like weed, I'm not drinking it. 
All right, I'm like scared to try it. Oh, it tastes like weed. What? Why? You know what? You guys, you guys just witnessed me trying to be healthy, but now I'm out of water, so. Diet Coke it is. Why does it taste like that? And that's why I don't drink water, so. Now you guys know. Now we know why I don't drink water. I have to leave right now, actually, because my appointment's in 20 minutes. Let's go. Okay, I just got here. Um, I'm going to go inside. This is what my face looks like right now. Obviously, it's not going to look different after, but I just wanted to show you guys a bit of a close-up so that you know why I'm here. Probably going to do, like, some extractions, a face mask, stuff like that. I don't know. I'm excited, though. Okay, so we have worked quite a bit on your skin, and we have now some redness, like some mm -hmm. little red dots from acne. So we've done some extractions. Yeah. And have you picked, be honest, yeah, I totally pick on okay. it. Okay, okay. No, I know. I always ask that I mean, question because the answer is always yes. Yeah. We're going to get any sort of clogged um, comedones, like closed comedones, out of there. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to clean you off and we're probably going to do a little laser for, um, for the redness. Yeah. Okay, so I just got out. My skin looks the same right now, obviously. She did extract a lot of it, so all of that gunk that was like under the top layer of my skin is gone. And she also did a laser treatment on me, which was helping with the redness, the swelling, the acne scars, and it helps kill any bacteria on my face. Thank you, Christina, I love you. You are the best and I don't deserve you. So I'm actually gonna start using the Vita Drops by Christina. These aren't out yet, but they're amazing. I've used them before and I'm gonna start using them more like regularly, because she told me, you know, now that I'm dealing with active acne since I got my IUD put in, I should be using them more often. And then I've also always struggled to find a good moisturizer and she just gave me her elixir, which is a moisturizer as well. I never, I never trust moisturizers. I don't know why. I just, every time I try a new one, I break out. So I'm gonna start using those and I will link all of her information down below. Okay, let's go home because oh, I just like, I feel like I'm doing a lot. So I wanna, I wanna chill out for a second. So my chicken is marinating. <laughs> should this be the thumbnail? It's like chipotle honey alioli sauce or whatever. Um, I'm defrosting some broccoli florets and I'm gonna walk across the street to Trader Joe's to get some heavy cream so I can make my mashed potatoes. Yeah, I'm gonna see if they have bath bombs and then I'll take a bath tonight, a relaxing bath. Look at me, I already feel so much better, guys. Come on. I'm back, I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. I had to go to CVS too, but they were right next door to each other so it wasn't a big deal. So from CVS, I got these paparazzi bath bombs. They're hibiscus and acai berry. So I got that for tonight. I also got paparazzi bubble bath. Ooh. I don't take baths. Fun fact, I hate baths. I just, I don't, I can't get past the thought of sitting in my own like water. That's weird. Now the exciting part is my Trader Joe's haul. I got some synergistically slightly sweet flavors seasoned popcorn. Listen, one of the girls that was helping me out over there told me that this is really good. So I'm very excited to try it. We're gonna try it right now. Mmm. Wait, that's good. <laughs> Holy shit. That is so good. It's like spicy, but sweet. Oh, I love it. I also got dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips. Are you kidding me? Wow, I made good decisions today. See, my problem when I go to Trader Joe's is that I try, I eat everything that I bought immediately. So then I end up not having groceries because I just eat everything. I'm gonna start cooking. Okay, I just finished. Time for my, I made a lot of food, but it's okay because if there's leftovers, I'll eat them tomorrow. Mashed potatoes are good, they need a little salt. Broccoli is perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Love you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, listen, <laughs> it's like 11.30 now and I haven't done anything. I was on a little bit of a roll for a second there and then I just went 
but fine because I feel a lot better. Honestly, I'm not even lying to you guys. I feel a lot better. Um, that's me just chilling by myself. I didn't even hang out with anybody. Like I made myself feel better. I'm going to run a bath for myself before I go to bed. Um. The point of what I was saying is that I'm trying to take better care of my gut. I'm trying to eat less dairy and do all that. So I'm gonna make myself this like, I'll show you guys. It is called the Beyond Greens Energy Detox Immunity Mix. It's by Live Consciousness. Sorry, it's by Live Conscience. Helps support a healthy immune system, harmonious gut health, normal whole body detoxification, and clean energy. From mushrooms in the micro, okay, you guys don't care. Never, what am I doing? So I'm gonna make that. <laughs> delicious i've been drinking it once a day it tastes like um like green tea ice cream so i'm on the toilet but there's a reason why i'm vlogging on the toilet right now something just happened that is gonna make this entire vlog go full circle i got my period so that makes a lot of sense full circle moment um i'm not saying that that's the entire reason that i'm having a mental breakdown but i'm going to assume that that's at least 40 percent of it I feel a lot better now. Now I'm like, okay, once this is over, I'm good. Which again, is a very unhealthy way of thinking. Like I need to deal with my problems, but for right now, I'm just gonna pretend that this is good. This is my solution. See you guys in a sec. <laughs> Um, this is the angle you guys are getting from me because I am naked. So yeah, this is nice. Um, this is the part of the bath, in my opinion, that's just awkward. Like, what do I do now? Just sit here in silence. I'm gonna read my book and I'm gonna relax. Self-care. Okay, I'm gonna read now. You guys can't hang out with me while I'm in here, but I do love you, but not while I'm in the bath. BRB. Okay, I just got out of the bath. Honestly, guys, three out of 10 experience. I don't know why I even tried it. I knew I wasn't gonna like it. I never like it. I just don't enjoy sitting in hot water because then like my body is like in hot water and then my face gets all sweaty. If you relate, like comment down below because I feel like no one relates to me. I also hate like hot tubs, hate hot tubs. Don't do hot tubs. I'm gonna do some skincare now and then I'm gonna go to bed because I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from putting effort in, which is, Kind of lame, but at the same time not lame because it's totally valid to be exhausted just from like breathing. Okay, wait, that sounded so dark. That's not what I meant. I meant it's okay to be exhausted from doing nothing. Okay, well, that's it for today's video because I honestly don't even know how I have more storage or yeah, space on my memory card at this point. I've been filming for so long, but I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really needed someone to talk to and you guys were there for me. And it actually feels like I was just hanging out with a friend. So thank you. I needed it and I appreciate it. And I love you guys. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Feels like frost is now mountain.